video came out with Masai Ujiri and the Toronto Raptors won the championship. He got into an altercation with the police and then they released the footage off the body cam. And, you know, I think the Warriors president said he felt very sorry for the situation and he was hurt that this happened to Masai. You know what? I don't believe none of that stuff. And I'm going to tell you this. This is why I don't believe any of that stuff or people feeling compassion, uh, you know, after the, the camera showed and you see the video. When somebody tells you, all right, you're, you're a brotherhood in the NBA. Your owners, GMs, y'all brotherhood. If a GM tells you like, hey, something I, uncomfortable really happened here. To me, because you never know where you're going to end up in this business. The Golden State Warriors never know. They might hire Masai Ujiri later on in life. You got to be careful how you treat people and how you move. He told the authorities and the Warriors, hey, this happened. The NBA, to me, this is where I, I think people kind of expect other people to handle their business. And I, I don't like that. The NBA or the Warriors should have said, that police officer, he cannot step foot in that building anymore. We don't want him to, to work in the building for us. We don't want him to work in the building until the further investigation. Then you see the body cam. Then you're like, okay, he can confirm he's banned. You know, you, you got to take steps to avert abuse of power. And how do you take those steps? This is what you do. You do things on your own proactively so this doesn't happen. Masai Ujiri, if most people knew that he was the president of the Raptors, he was he was on TNT. That, that officer saw the guy on TNT talking on the mic before doing interviews. And if he never did, he should have at least had the courtesy to say, sir, where are you going? Uh, how can I be of assistance? Instead of pushing the man, you could have said, I know he probably had strict orders, don't let people on the court. But he, he could have confirmed with somebody. And the fact that he pushed him, he didn't, you know, restrain him, like, say, you know, put his hands up. He, he pushed the guy disrespectfully. You know, it caused a big altercation. The Warriors, I felt like, should have been more proactive. I know you could say, hey, let the, the authorities handle the case. But in the meantime, that guy can't work for us. He can't come in the building. He can't come in the building. He particularly can't come in the building. Not all the other police or whatever the case is. Till we get the full extent of the uh, investigation. Like, it's like too many times where things happen and big organizations, they like wait for everything to play out instead of proactively doing things. Just proactively, you know, uh, do an inquiry. Proactively say like, hey, is there a way that we can um, get some sensitivity training? Or can we help the police force in that area, in the Bay Area? Can we offer like 100000 to give them some sensitivity training? Like, be more proactive in a case like this. Because when you're saying like, oh, I heard... I feel hurtful that this happened. Like, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't, you know, it just, because it, it didn't happen to you. But if that would have happened to Bob Myers, it would have been like a big stink. Like, that police officer would have been, like, reprimanded even quick, even quicker and stuff like that. And I don't, I don't necessarily want to play, like, the race card or whatever the case is. Because maybe race did have to do with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm never going to ignore that. I'm just saying, in terms of the NBA, how proactive they are, I feel like the Warriors should have been more proactive. I feel like they kind of dropped the ball. On this, and maybe it's out of their hands, you know. Hey, but hey, this is what's not out of their hands. That guy, he can't come in the building. Point blank, period. Who's Junction? Who's Miss Hoopla? Like, comment, subscribe.